God damn it. I knew this would happen. We were at Wellsworth with Molly when it happened. Hey, Molly. How's it going? Uh, it's going pretty good, James. Thanks for asking. All of a sudden, we heard a loud explosion. We all knew exactly where it came from. And we had to go. Uh, sorry, James. I gotta go down Suddery. But, Molly! We'll meet again! James, we gotta go now! Okay! Let's get out of here! People cleared the platform as fast as I had ever seen. We knew that struggle would be coming fast. We all early the guard. And luckily, we had to saw what he saw. We, he blew his whistle, we released the brakes, hit the wriggling, and pulled on the whistle for dear life, hoping that Cedric was still in this box. The signal box to set the points. Thank God he was. Because without him, we wouldn't have been killed. We sped down the line as fast as we could. We'd never gone before. We passed Boko, Bill, and Ben, who was heading the other way, pulling a train of China clay. We found out that they didn't make it alive, and neither did their crew. Boko, Bill, Ben, go the other way! Calm down, James. There's nothing to be afraid of. Yeah, there is. Oh my god. Twins, watch out! Oh my god! The engines were probably the most horrifying. And I don't blame them. We had some form of protection, which mainly made them go faster. James shot past Crosby when the shockwave hit us. Jesus, it was strong. It caused the glass in the carriages to shake and the load to move in the luggage. James's front poogie truck also derailed because of it. But those things didn't stop us. We could feel the heat rising, but we didn't stop until we got to Natford. <laughs> 